All right, then. So this will be, I think, number five for today. This is on Hollywood. This was a pretty long game, but I think we ended up winning. So we start an attack. We're playing basically the same composition we've been running most of the day today. And as far as their composition going, they're going the Reaper, Hanzo, uh, with the Monkey, with the Reinhardt, and then their Mercy, Moira. So the Reaper teleported up behind us. And I'm pretty sure we were we were very aware of this. We called this out. And, okay, so he does end up getting away. Which is unfortunate, but, you know. He still, he didn't get any kills. He didn't get any value with that. He had to back out. Let me lose our McCree here. Which is, which is unfortunate. But that's just Moira Orb plus... Plus a duel. It was just... So we, we do get the res off though, which is perfectly fine, and we continue on from here. So we back up after making space for the res. We're just trying to melt the shield here. Reaper pushes forward again. He's forced to back up. Then Moira's pushed forward here. She dies. Now they don't have their main healer anymore. We lose our mercy though. And uh, so, so their Reaper teleports again behind us. And we, oh wait, no, where did he teleport there? That was actually weird, I didn't see where he teleported. So that we should be helping a Reinhardt. And this is kind of, we met, I mentioned this before in the previous video, but we should we should make sure to do this. Um, he's pinning, there. you can counter pin this. And it'll stop you from taking as much damage. Uh, so you end up dying, but I think I think with the respawns, we should still be in advantage. Plus, we, we should be pressuring this right now. Um, which we kind of do. We get him. This Reaper's behind us. We get him as well. Now this monkey is our target. We lose our mercy, but we should be okay still. Yeah, we still have our Moira, and we should kill this monkey in a second. We do. So now we're very much up right now. We should be pushing very aggro on point. As far as I see, it's just Moira on point right now, and Hanzo's, Hanzo and Mercy are behind point in cafe. We pop our own coalescence, which is good. We need this at this point. Um, and we're just trying to do damage. We kill their Mercy, kill their Moira, and we should cap the point. It's just Hanzo up above. He's dead. Oh, they're going to shatter here, don't they, or something like that? I'm trying to remember what happened here. I think their Reinhardt does something silly. The Reaper's here. We kill the Reaper. No, on that. Right, so the Brian does have Shattered. As far as ultimates go, they have literally everything coming up. And we used, we used what, two to win that fight? Our hog's up here. Just pressuring. He backs up though. The Ryan's coming back with Shatter. He shatters here. He knocks three down, but we should be able to help our Mercy. No, we lose our Mercy to the Hanzo, um, but we still have our Moira as well. And we should be able to chase this Hanzo or this Moira. We should be able to chase someone here. They popped their Valkyrie here, and they used Shatter to try and win this fight, but we're still pushing Payload. So now we should be able to, should be able to pressure this Hanzo. I think he gets away. He does. Their Mercy goes to the res, but she dies. The Reaper's up above. He's probably going to drop and use his ultimate in a second. I have no stun for that. Do we have... Seven. We do have Flashbang, so we should be able to stun that if he tries to use that. We use Flashbang, and we get the Reaper low. He uses Wraith form, but he goes forward. He's definitely looking for his ultimate then. And we have no hook to stun that with, so we're going to lose our Moira. They use both support DPS ultimates, and I think they clean this fight up, actually, with that. Yeah, so they clean everybody up with just their support ult, or their DPS ults. Which is good play by them. Alright, so we swap over... No, we don't. They swap over to the D.Va. So they're going full dive now. Their monkey dives in behind us. But yeah, okay, so this is another example of when we should probably use their tire here and we should swap over to the Reaper. Um, as it just completely stops this monkey from being allowed to do this. Um, and having a Reaper is probably better for the 1v1 matchup. 
than the, the Junkrat. His Junkrat's quite... I mean, you get him there, but Junkrat is a bit harder to win that, that duel with. So we put a trap down, which gets the monkey, and we should be able to burn the monkey down here. We shatter, basically just to confirm the kill. Uh, I guess we had, we had called out to use shatter there, and we just we don't hit anybody but him there. We get the diva though, so we should be able to clean this up now. Kill the baby diva. Which we do. We should be able to chase. We get their mercy. We should help our Kree here. Make sure he doesn't die to the Moira. Alright, and so we're able to heal and the Moira survives. So now they have... They've now swapped to a Doomfist and they now have Sigma. So, okay, so we lose... So we lose our Junkrat, but he gets rezzed and the Reaper dies behind us as well now. There's a Doomfist somewhere. Yeah, he's down here behind the saloon. Just looking for an opportunity. We're just kind of looking right now. Uh, the Doomfist chases our Junkrat. But we should be okay with that. We use our Hoggle. We get stunned of it. We kill their Mercy though. It's just the Doomfist up here on top of ba on Jail. And we pop. And we cap. We should be able to clean up their Doomfist here. Which we do. And then it's just Moira. And we push. So going into this next fight, ultimates we have are pretty much everything but Hoggle. We'll have, we're pretty close to the other two, and then we should have everything. As far as their ultimates go, they're pretty close to getting a few, but they should have both their support ultimates going into this next fight. And they'll be pretty close to Bomb and uh, Gravitic Flux. Their Diva's up ahead, up behind us. She dives onto the point just to try and stall some time out. So we lose our Moira here, and the Sigma uses his ultimate. Ooh. We pop our High Noon in response to that, though. We're just kind of going to force some zoning. I think they, oh, no, we lose McCree instead. They get a lot out of that. We go for the res, but we lose the Mercy. Which is fine. This is a lost fight. We probably should just be, just be regrouping. All right, so going into this, we have everything but Valk and High Noon now. The Doomfish pushes forward. He's He should die. Yeah. He uses his ultimate instead. He has to get out. He goes aggro with the ultimate. We hook him. And we should be able to kill him here. All right, so we get him. And our tank lines up in front here with our Junkrat. And the Reaper comes in, he's got ultimate again, he's gonna do that. We stun him, which is huge. Just stop him from doing what he wanted to do. We're using Moyer Coalesce. You're confirming kills, I guess. Um, but we, we, we kill both their backline with the Coalescence on their backline. Moyer comes back to point. We kill the Sigma. We should be able to soon. We do. Okay, it's just ball on point then. And they're going to switch over to some other things to try and be able to contest point. And that should be cap. Yep, so that's first cap. So as far as we go on our, uh, on our defense... Because, yeah, now we're on defense. So our Ryan gets walled off here. I'm trying to keep him alive here. He's probably going to get melted here. Right? I would be very surprised if he could... No. The Torb turret, and yeah, so they're just going to roll over that. Now that we, we're down two, we have, no, we have no main tank, we have no uh, mercy for heals. Red Art sneaks behind, he pins the Rodog. 
our Reinhardt's back. We get a Fire Strike that does a ton of damage. But we should lose our Reinhardt in a second still. Torbjorn just to contest. And then we swap the Torbjorn. I think we go to Reaper. Yeah. And we just back up. So that was very good by them. That was... The May Wall was what set that up for uh, for them. So they use May Wall. The Reinhardt's going on the left side here. He has Shatter. So he may be looking for Shatter. We chase him back, though, which is good. Play for the Reaper. Okay, so I want to play this out. The Reaper, we engage with Wraith Form there onto a full team. So you're probably going to die here. You get the Mercy, but you die. You trade for the Mercy. We get Shattered, and they use... They use ults. We use High Noon. Uh, I don't know if we really want to use High Noon there. I think it was probably a... At that point, they invested in so many ults, we should just give them the point. And regroup and try and recontest with ults. We swap... Oh, no, no, no. We're swapping... We're swapping roles. We're swapping... Okay. He's going to spam that voice line the whole time, isn't he? Alright, so we pop Valk. Their Moira is aggressive here on our Reaper. We should be able to chase her back and kill her. So now we're playing on the on the payload again. We should be helping our Reinhardt. They pop their Reaper ultimate, so they don't get anybody with it. We use Hoggle and get him. And we get their Reinhardt. The monkey dives in again, and we should be able to clean this up pretty quickly now. So now they swap off the monkey onto the Sigma. And that's because of the that's because of the Reaper switch. The Reaper counters. It's very hard. What an interesting. What an interesting. What an interesting. Alright, so our Reaper teleports up above, behind. We're just gonna put a pressure, we help our McCree back out. Their Reaper teleports to top of the jail here. And our Reinhardt gets walled again. We go for the res. It's a very risky res, but we get it, and we need to protect our mercy after that. Um, if we call that out more, to be more vocal with that, we can try and protect our mercy more. We lose the mercy to just a random fire strike, but she was very low after going for the res. They use mail again. We shatter in return, which is a huge shatter. We should be able to hopefully clean up something with that. We do. We get the sigma, and we... We're continuing to fight. This is... This is a really big play by the Reaper here. Die, die, die. It's unfortunate you die during your ultimate there with the May Freeze. If you had... I don't think there's really much you can do there. Based on the fact that you had... I don't think you had Wraith Form when you, when you went in on that. Um, that was just kind of a hero play. And it almost worked out. It's unfortunate it didn't. Because you... Let's see. Wraith Formed here. So this is the first time you use Wraith, is to get in. And you're getting frozen by the May. You kill the Reinhardt. Yeah, okay, so you you're you have four seconds to your Wraith form here, so what I thought was that you had Wraith form when you died. You didn't you use your ultimate here. So yeah. So the plan there was just try and so I, you had Wraith form. You would have tried to that's just kind of a thing you can do. I'll kind of describe it. You wouldn't have been able to do it there. But Wraith Form is a cleanse, obviously. And that would cleanse off the May Freeze. So you could have used that to reset the amount of time that she has to freeze you. So you could have gotten almost frozen by her, used your Wraith Form, jumped out of Wraith Form, used your ultimate. Um, if you had Wraith Form at that point in time. But you didn't because you used it to, used it to get out of the May ult in the first place. Um, so here play didn't work out, but almost did. And I don't think we recontest this.
All right, so we get pretty bad spawn here. We're down just a Reaper right now, and we're all stuck up here. So we have to back up. As far as ultimates go, we're going to have High Noon, and we're going to have Coalescence. They're going to have Shatter, Coalescence, and uh, Death Blossom. So we pop our Coalescence first. Their Reiner comes around for a Shatter. Yeah. So we, we weren't paying attention to this. We let this happen to us. Our Reinhardt's going aggro right now, and we're all we're all pushing forward with the coalescence. He gets a huge shatter. All six people on the ground. They should clean that up. They use their death blossom as well, which is personally, I believe, a poor choice. They use their hog, and then they're pushing the payload. So they pop their they pop their uh, Valkyrie here, and their coalescence. They pop both support ultimates here. Just to try and clean up this last fight. They're melting our Mercy with the Coalescence. So yeah, now it's just the tanks on point. We kill their Mercy. No, that's our Mercy. Alright, now it's extremely low. He dies to the... He dies to the ultimate. Re or the Reaper pushing forward. Our Roadhog dies during his ultimate. We kill two with the High Noon. But they still have numbers. Our respawns are too slow. And no one the point. So they cap with two and a half minutes left in the clock. So now this is our. This is our second. No, this is our attack now. So this is our overtime attack. So we roll out on the Sigma instead of the Roadhog now. Our Reinhardt gets walled off, but we, we can get around that pretty quickly to help our ride. So we're just pushing forward here. The Reinhardt pushes. We can go back. Their maze looking for another wall right now. She walls off, but the Reinhardt is able to get, to get around it. Everyone else gets around it. We're able to keep a Reinhardt up the May. Goes aggro, uses her ice block. We should be able to kill her now that she did that. That should yeah. So she dies pretty quickly. Their Reinhardt's up above right now. He's gonna go for a Mad Lad pin. We weren't really contesting this Reinhardt a lot, and he's going to get another... It actually doesn't get a kill for that. He could have gotten a kill for that, though. Um, so we, we turn our attention to him at this point. Kind of, I guess. Um, that should have been... We should have called that out more. He's away from his team with no support. We should have been able to kill him much faster than we did. And we lost people because of how long it took us. And then our... Mercy goes for a res, and we aren't able there to we aren't there to protect her through that, which should be all right. We still look like we have have the ability to win this fight here. We help our Reinhardt. We kill the monkey. We kill or no, we kill their Reaper. No, okay, so they do they do hold that fight. We regroup. As far as ultimates go, the other one online yet is going to be Primal Rage and Shatter. But we should have we should have three more coming up very, very soon. And the only thing they'll have is Primal Rage for quite a while. So we pop our Coalescence first. Their monkey dives in. He's probably looking for Primal. We pop High Noon. We break the bubble. Reinhardt has no barrier either. We're on this Reinhardt. We get him. Our Reinhardt shatters. The monkey. And the Moira is there. We kill the Moira. The monkey is getting burned. We res, but it's a very risky res. We are able to keep our Mercy alive through it, though. It's just monkey and uh, May on point. We kill the May, we kill the monkey, and we cap first point. Their Mercy uses Valk. She tries to contest, but decides not to. Um, so they used Valk here in a really poor time for them to use it. They shattered. This is where they shattered. 
So they shatter. Who do they shatter? I think it's just a solo shatter on the Sigma. Um, which does kill our Sigma. But they've wasted an ultimate to kill one person off the plane. So going in, we have Rip Tire, we have Valkyrie. So we should probably pop. We pop Tire. And we should probably pop Valk to help our Reinhardt not die there. So we get four with the Tire, which is huge. And then we're fighting on point just to try and contest as long as we can. Mercy reses the Reinhardt. Gets frozen. We kill the May though. And we continue to push the payload. So they're coming back looking for the recontest now. We're contesting the Reaper up on high ground. He has to use Ray form to back out. So now they, they've switched over to the Orisa from the Reinhardt. They use their May wall early. Payload breaks it. Our Moira gets very low and dies. We lose our Junkrat to their Moira. We go for the res again. This res, I'm not sure I'm particularly a fan of. We lose the res because of the pull. Reaper uses his ultimate, but he does die for that. And our target should now be the May. As far as ultimates go, we also have High Noon. When our McCree gets back, which he's on his way, I think, right? Or he's he's setting up for the High Noon, I think. Yeah, okay, so he's back with his team now. And probably once this wall goes down, we'll use High Noon to try and zone the point. Okay, oh, and this was... We lose a lot to this Moira because we just couldn't kill her. She uses Fade onto point. She's on her McCree. And they're able to clean this up. So that's where the payload stops. Um, and they had ult to kind of keep cleaning that up. So now onto our our final defense, our overtime defense. So we're running the Urisa Reinhardt now. We're running May. We're running Reaper. So we're just kind of getting some spam damage, trying to get some ult charge off that. They push forward. Their May gets a wall, but we we counter wall, which this is a really good counter wall. This basically stops, this stops them from being able to help the May very much here. She has to use her ice block. She dies, and they have the Genji. We get our May hooked, which, do we have Ice Block? Yeah, we might want to, okay, we do. And at this point, when this happens, we should push up for the May. We should all be pushing up right now, trying to help our May get out. Um, which we do end up doing. Which is huge the May ends up staying alive there. We kill their We kill their Sigma, we kill their Mercy. And the rest of their team has to back out. So that's one fight down. Probably two more, three more. Left the May uses her wall. And the May's here. She uses her ice block. We wall her off. This is huge. The May should die here. We engage with the Reap with the Reaper Wraith. And then we kill the May. So now they have to wait for the May, or they're pushing down without somebody. Their Hammond pushes in as well, and we freeze him and kill him. That's huge. The, they've got their Reaper and their Moira in IT. The Hog goes for Hook. And then we just kind of wall off. I'm not sure this wall really does too much for them, or for us. This kind of just stops the Hog from being able to put poke damage in, but if anything, we want to try and push this Hog, so you take the wall down anyways. And they're just waiting for respawns. They wasted another 30 seconds, 40 seconds there. Purely just because they trickled in. Alright, then so May's just here patrolling IT. You get hooked though, which gets you gets you stuck. But we do rotate to help our May. She gets the wall up, which helps her get back. And we can at that point we can take the wall down. They're running the Diva Hog now. Their Diva comes through IT now. Their Diva engages forward. 
The Reaper's coming in. He doesn't have ult though. Uh, but he doesn't have. He has Wraith. So he can get out when he needs to. Or he should be able to. Right? He has Wraith. Yeah, he has Wraith. He should be able to get out when he gets pressured here. And he does. We use our mail here on point. Which is big. I'm not sure if you were aware um, when you were doing it, but a, a very important thing when using the mail is being paying attention to the diva. Uh, if you see her flash her defense matrix, you have about a second after that goes down to throw it on point. Or um, she's up, in this case, she's just looking the other way. But uh, you want to be careful when you're throwing. A male, because it is one of the easier ones to eat as diva. So we freeze, we freeze their mercy, we freeze their hog, we get their diva. Yeah, so now it's just more on point. We used so for that fight to win, we used Valk, we used Bongo, and we used Coalescence and Free. So we used four ults to win that fight there. But they used Mercy ult as well. They used Coalescence as well. So we traded support ults for support ults, and then we won the fight. Their Moira is still behind us, and we should be able to kill her. Or she's, she, yeah, she's just gonna rotate with Mega Pack. And she should be able to get back to her team. Or she, she engages. She should die. She does. Alright, so we have Maze on her way back, and then we'll have everyone back on point again. They're down there in Moira right now. The Reaper teleports up high ground. He's doing the same thing he did last time where he's gonna drop down. Our Maze forced to use Ice Block. But we're going forward. We. Mm, Okay, so we played aggro there. I, I want to point this out. We played aggro there with the May after you had used your ice block to keep yourself alive. The fact that it took them that long to kill you, though, was kind of crazy. Um, so now we're on their junk rat. We get the shatter, and that should clean it up. It's just a more on point. He has Blethem, Blethem, he uses it, and he dies. So that was pretty good. That was a pretty good win. Um, see, there's some things we can correct on the May play and the Reaper play, because we aren't playing those as much. Um, but overall, that was really good. That was really good by us, and it was a win.